What a privilege to be out here in this beautiful open space in the high felt uh, in Mapumalanga to just chat with you for a few moments. Last year, exactly this time, I was in ICU fighting for my life because of COVID. Let me actually rephrase that. I couldn't fight. I was too weak to fight. I experienced the hand of God in, on my life in an amazing way. I can remember being admitted to ICU too weak to breathe with everything going wrong. Uh, my bowels out of control, felt like somebody was sitting on my chest. I had fever and headaches. Uh, it looked like that this was the end. And then there's a wonderful thing that happened. And I've said this before, those two amazing words in the English language that say, but God. You see, God came to visit me in that time. And after 16 very trying days, I walked out of uh, the hospital uh, to a wheelchair and then they pushed me to the car. Uh, by God's grace, I have recovered completely, no after effects. I'm so grateful for that. I've lost so many friends, but I've seen the hand of God in my life in such an amazing way. And I'm so grateful for this. And here's a verse that has be, just become so very, very real to me. It's Psalm 23, but from the TPT. He says it this way, and I'd like to read it for you. He says, even when your path takes me through the deepest valley of darkness, fear will not conquer me for you already have. I can remember lying there unable to breathe and just saying, Lord, you breathe life into Adam. Please breathe life into me. And what a privilege to know that. He goes on to say, for your authority is my strength and my peace. Your comfort takes away my fear. I will never be lonely for you are near. My encouragement to you today is it doesn't matter how deep or how dark the valley is. Remember this. Allow the Holy Spirit to conquer your heart. Don't let fear or some outside force conquer you. Submit to Him. Uh, Job says in Job 3.25, I believe, the thing that I feared came upon me. So don't attract the things you don't want. Speak life and believe that regardless of how deep or how dark that valley is, God will see you through. Whatever you're struggling with right now, remember that He's your shepherd. Jesus loves you and paid the price for your full redemption. Trust Him.